Hi everyone, it's Evo with Glitch Machines and today we're looking at Polygon 2.0. In this video, we'll look at the interface and global sections of the plugin. For more videos going over the plugin's various sections and functions, please visit the Glitch Machines website and navigate to the Polygon webpage. Polygon 2.0's fully redesigned user interface is split into five main sections. The sampler modules, which are the four main sound generators. The oscillator module, which is a dual oscillator with variable wave shapes and FM. The global section, which includes the global filters, global effects, panel switchers, master section, and randomizer. The modulation section, which features four modulation sequencers, eight LFOs, and various modulation utilities. And the footer section, which houses the preset browser and configuration menu. Let's take a look at a few important elements of Polygon 2.0's interface. Parameters that may require precise adjustments have been equipped with a parameter value pop up. To reveal the current value of such parameters, click on the corresponding knob. Likewise, as you adjust the relevant parameter, its value will appear in a transparent pop-up. Note that some parameters don't feature this display, and these parameters either have a value range from 0 to 1, in other words, on and off, or from 0 to 100%. You can scale the polygon interface by dragging the bottom right corner of the window until you reach the desired proportions. This setting is automatically saved and the plugin will launch with the set dimensions until altered. The initialize option at the top of the config menu allows you to quickly reset your patch to the factory default state. Holding the control or command key depending on Windows or Mac allows you to gain finer control over a parameter. Double clicking a knob will reset it to its default value. To make modulation assignments, drag and drop nodes to destination slots at parameters you wish to target. You can right-click on any destination slot to clear the active assignment. You can also overwrite the active assignment by dragging and dropping another node on top of it. Now that we've taken a closer look at Polygon's interface, let's take a look at the global sections of the plugin. The global filter module features two multi-mode filters with two global effect sends each and the ability to run in either serial or parallel mode. The cutoff sets the cutoff frequency of the filter between 40 and 18,000 Hz. The resonance parameter adds emphasis to the cutoff frequency of the filter. Click on the small shape icon to cycle through three filter types, low pass, high pass, and band pass. Each filter also has two sends that send the corresponding filter signal to the relevant global effect. Clicking the link icon switches between parallel and serial mode. In parallel mode, the filters behave independently and their signals appear at either the master section or the global effects depending on the send settings. In serial mode, the filters become linked and the signal from filter 1's output is fed through filter 2 on its way to either the master section or the global effects depending on the send settings. Next, let's take a look at the global effects section. The global effects module features two user-definable effect slots. These slots include several effects that you can blend with the plugin's output, giving you lots of options when it comes to adding additional effects to your patches. As you select the desired effect from the drop down menu, the knobs on the right will update to reveal parameters relevant to the chosen effect. As of version 2.0, the available global effects are delay, sync delay, reverb, and stutter. Note that the amp parameter is always present regardless of the chosen effect. Next, we have the master section, which includes three crucial parameters. Master pitch, which allows you to increase or decrease the overall pitch of your patch without going to the individual modules. Master release, which allows you to increase or decrease the overall release time of your patch without visiting the individual modules. And master amplitude, which controls the master volume of Polygon's output. Finally, we have the footer section, which gives you access to the preset browser and configuration menu. You can navigate the presets either by clicking the drop down menu and selecting a preset, or by using the navigational arrows to increment and decrement through the list. 
Clicking Save Preset opens a dialog box that lets you save the current preset on your hard drive. The small gear icon in the footer gives you access to the global configuration menu which houses various important functions that affect the plugin. Initialize initializes all of the plugin's parameters to their default state and clears all samples. Clear Solo clears the active solo without having to navigate to it directly. Polyphony allows you to allocate the plugin's polyphony to either two, four, six, or eight voices. It should be noted that higher polyphony settings can drastically impact your CPU. With this in mind, we set the default at four voices as a balanced compromise, but you can adjust this to your personal preference depending on how it impacts the performance of your machine. Change Sound Library folder location is useful if you ever need to move Polygon's factory sample library folder to another location on your system. This option will open a dialog from which you can point the plugin to its new location. Show Preferences file reveals the location of Polygon's preferences on your system. This file stores options like the user interface dimensions, polyphony settings, and so on. Open Presets directory is a shortcut to the dedicated system folder where the plugin's presets are stored. This concludes our look at Polygon 2.0's interface and global sections. Check out our website for more videos covering the various functions and sections of the plugin. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.